I've always felt that technology, if applied appropriately, could be an answer to solving some of the big challenges we face in conservation. You know, it's, it's difficult, it's time consuming, but not anymore, not with Altium. I joined Resolve about nine years ago after 26 years at World Wildlife Fund. My colleague and co-developer, really I could say on this journey, has been Steve Gulick. We started experimenting with new kinds of technology for conservation. That we're gonna use in the woods, so that's much higher, right? The, the raw image. Essentially what, what Trail Guard is, is security just 24 hours a day and can't be bribed, but waiting just for poachers to come by. And then if you have a way of notifying the authorities at that same time, you have the possibility of, of getting there before they kill. And the AI is done on the edge by a neural network computer. So initially when I started this, I was working totally alone. That's definitely not an efficient way to do things. A lot of the people that are interested in helping animals and using technology to do so are distributed around the world. We have engineers in Romania that work on the design, engineers in India and ourselves here in the U.S. Our challenge is how do we exchange our ideas, how do we conceptualize them and get them into a, a blueprint and share those with the engineers that are helping us build our product. If we wanted to make any changes to this, it would involve a lot of back and forths in email, but it would all be in text, not in actually annotating an image of the circuit board. Altium is the perfect answer to that. Yep, oh, excellent, that's so intuitive. We were able to do this simultaneously, looking at the computer screen and say, let's do this and this. Oh, no, no, let's not do that. And make this happen so much faster than we ever could before. It allows real-time communication and exchange of ideas and correcting mistakes which may have gone unnoticed otherwise. We have basically a continuous review process and at any time an ad hoc review Catching something early on, like any disease, is much better than when it's terminal. Altium's really been a lifesaver for us. It allows us to share the designs and on the fly amend comments and redesign something really quickly and to get our ideas across in a way that without having that visualization on the screen and that connectivity would be impossible. You know, one of the things that we learned from the CEO of Luxonis, uh, Brandon Gillis, is that his answer to every problem that you come upon in technology and in building a new device is iterate. Just make a new circuit board. <laughs> I suppose he should have added, you want to iterate with Altium. You need that critical piece, the software that gives you that, that freedom and flexibility. Oh, that's nifty. So actually, I've uh, been working on this for more than a quarter of my life, but had I had the right tools at the right time, it would have come to fruition much sooner. And in the course of that, because of, of the application, it would have saved countless animals. It's always best to have the best tools. It's pretty obvious.